Hello everyone and welcome to this uh, first video in a series of uh, tips and tricks um, I picked up along the way uh, using a library design and uh, that I would like to share with you. Now let's start off by making a square part right? that you know it's a hundred millimeter that's fine ton millimeter thick and uh, let's put a rectangular hole <clears throat> a square hole in the middle right and this can be 50 millimeters excellent now let's say I want to chamfer these edges right so what I, how would I do that I would select a value here and start, you know, selecting the edges, spinning them a little around so I can find the next one. And there you go. And I selected the edges, right? But there's an easier and uh, a much faster way to do this. So what you do is you open the chamfer command, you give it the value you want, and you select the first edge because you need to click on the screen once for this to work, right? And then, look at this. Now I have all of the edges visible. And what's more is I can select through the top surface. So I just go on, and select these four uh, edges, and hit apply, and I'm good to go. Right? Now, how did I do that? Well, basically, what I did is I just selected shaded and all edges in these render options, right? So if you see the, the shaded and visible edges is the uh, default one. And I just went ahead and uh, selected shaded and all edges. And what I've done is I have hot keyed these two render options so I can switch between them and select non-visible edges a lot faster and a lot easier and this uh, this works with chamfer fillet it works with uh, constraints it, it basically works with anything that needs an edge selection or, or something like that so I hope you uh, found this tip useful and uh, I hope I see you in the next one